<clears throat> Hello and welcome back to Karen from tillycrafts.co.uk um, I just thought I'd share with you these three cards that I made straightforward and simple from a, a six by six sheet of paper um, there is a blog on my post at tillycrafts.co.uk um, and it's got all the measurements on so I'll show you now right. <clears throat> this card is made from the most wonderful time suite um, even though I've not used this stamp set I've used the papers that go with it and it comes with lots of six by six sheets and they're all double sided one side's got like gold foil on them and the other side's matte so there's that one <laughs> I love this one and a stripey one and stars on the back Christmas trees or candy canes deer and snowflakey stars Oops, these are all my bits and pieces I've been uh, using <laughs> uh, these are little sheets uh, they're about that big and you've got stars on them um, I don't think I've got the other ones here because you can see I've been using quite a lot of these and these are stickies that you can just pull out stamp and stick on candy canes labels reindeer holly and Christmas trees, which you can see I've used nearly all the Christmas trees up. <laughs> Apologies if the light's not that good, but it's a really dull and dreary day here. Um, these are some of the other papers that you get in it. The stars, these are only one-sided. Stripes, the snowflakey one, that goes with one of the red papers and that's all you get those but it's quite a good suite and you also get ribbon in it and it's like half gold and half clear so it's quite nice um but for my sentiment i've used another set out of the autumn winter catalogue itty bitty christmas and i've used the lots of love at christmas and the merry christmas and a happy new year all right so let's get started <coughs> Right, and these are really simple to do. So I've got an A4 sheet of white card and I've simply cut it in half and I'm scoring it in half and it's up to you which way around you want to do it. And I'll bring in my new Stampin' Up! trimmer, which is lovely. It's now available to customers. So you simply cut it in half that way if you want the temp fold cards or you cut it in half that way and then score it the other way if you want the other style these ones i've done all that way and these ones i'm going to do are the temp fold ones so i'm just going to score these in half this one and three right so them. simply fold them oh look at that <laughs> i'll have to do these again that was the dodgy ones that i had right one minute See, that's made plans and all that. Right, I'm just going to see if I can just fold these. Do you know, I had a set of dodgy paper and I have to pull it out, don't I? So I think we'll stick to the original and do these ones because I know these are right. Good thing though, at least I remember my bone folder this time. And there we go. Let's get 
of that. Click, done. There we go. Just checking you can see this right. Right, so we start off with one six by six paper. And, whoops. And we're going to cut it at four and a quarter. So I want this way. No, I don't I want this way. Four and a quarter. I'm panicking now. <laughs> no, I'll do it this way at three and three quarters. But like I say, you don't need to write the measurements down because they are all on my blog. Right, not laugh if I've done this wrong, but hey ho, we all make mistakes. <laughs> three and three quarters by four and a half. Right, so <clears throat> these are the three cards I'm doing. So. This one's flat, and then we've got a long one for there, and we've got a short one for here, short one for there, no, there, never mind. Right, let's try and get this right. Right. So for this one we needed five and a half. Let's check that one. Two, five and a half and not quite two and a half, but we can just do a narrower card on there, it's not a problem. And the last one needs to be three and a half by one and three quarters. So. Now that one <coughs> should go on the card that way, but as you can see, I've messed up and I've cut it the wrong way around. So all I'm going to do with that one is I'm going to make a card and put it on like that. So that's that done. And for these, I just laid, did them on basic black, which I've got some sheets here. Some of these are pre-cut, I think I might have to some more right because that one's slightly thinner I'm just going to trim it down there we go perfect that fits on there okay this one, that one's fine. So it's just this one that I need to do. It's me. I need to just trim that down a bit. So it's four and a half. Four and a half, so that needs to be four and a quarter. Yep. Let's check that side. Three and three quarters, so that needs to be three and a half. Let's double check that. Yep. So 
twice like that. See, um, this always happens to me. I read my measurements wrong and then I have to do it again. Brill. <coughs> That'll do nicely. Right. Onto the right cards. Right, so I should do this one first because it's nice and easy. So let's use my snail. starting to get prepared for Christmas. I think I've done nothing but Christmas cards for the last few months so I'll, I'll be ready when Christmas is over to start doing something different. just shows you how like with a six by six piece of paper if you're not sure what to do you can make some nice cards with it just by chopping it up there we go and I said this one's gonna go that way first bit done um, right now for these I've also if you can see I've cut some presents out of the strips that are left to add some damage I've not put any on here but on these ones I've stuck them on with dimensionals just to give a little bit more added interest and the same with this one so I shall do that now I've got some already cut out about four I need a couple of red ones on there it's a little one <clears throat> right I'll cut another red one out for that in a minute just trying to match them up <laughs> all right where's my scissors I was all prepared and I had everything ready and now I can't find my scissors and I know I'll put them on. Typical. They must be on the bed. There they are. I will get better at doing this. So I basically just fussy cut them out. Not got a lot of this paper with the presents on because I've, I've made quite a few cards with it because I really like it. This one. I 
always find it therapeutic fussy cutting out relaxing not that my best fussy cut going but right there we go got another crap day coming up soon in a few weeks um, <clears throat> lots of the uh, team are going off to Germany for a big on stage event but unfortunately I can't go to that one this year so some of the girls that aren't going they're making a team day that we can all go to the other ones that are left behind so I'm quite looking forward to that And uh, we'll be doing some make and take. So when I come back, I shall share those with you. I watch all these videos and uh, trying to find ideas of what to bring you online. Not that I do them regular yet, but when I do, I know it's tips go down quite well of using stuff so I might do a few of those but I want to do a few more card ones and hopefully get a bit better at it <laughs> right I'm gone <clears throat> so I think we've got a long one on there let's swap that on for that one so that's that one done and I've got I was trying to match them up um, there we go. I'm gonna have one. I'm probably all shouting at me. I can see one there, but I can't see it. I might actually. No, that was a bit silly on there. I can't pick them up. Um, that can go over the green one. Let's see what I've got on here. Oh, I've got a nice long one here that can go on. bonfire night approaching soon so I don't know if you're all into bonfire night or not I like bonfire night but I, I feel sorry for all the animals my cat doesn't like it he hates it so I tend not to go out I tend to stay in with him <clears throat> it wouldn't be so bad if they were just on bonfire night it's when they do them days before and weeks before and they set up those really loud ones and I just think it's not fair I don't know what you all feel about bonfire night and poor animals right that one will actually go over there and I'm going to put that one on there Got one, two. Might have to do a few of these after I can find some more. But like I say, I've used nearly all the paper up. That one can go over there. Two. It's the only trouble is when you put them down, I can't see what I've done and what I haven't done. Right, well, we've got a couple on there anyway. <clears throat> For now. Ah, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll push that one off there. That can go on there. I'll 
So three red ones. Right, sorted. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> so on the back of them, I just put dimensionals in. Because I haven't brought a new one up with me, I'll do what every crafter does and use up the edges because they're just as good and waste that one up. Right. Let's put a couple of ones on these. are quite fiddly. I usually end up with these all over the house. one done. Very fiddly. I don't know, sometimes my fingers don't seem to work. <laughs> right, one on that. One on that. And one down there. Lovely. There we go. Nearly finished now. So now we need to stamp. I'm going to use the itty bitty stamp. Here with just my black memento ink, <clears throat> and these are these are cling stamps now, and they're a lot better than the red rubber. I'll just check it's okay. Right, so oh, that one. Oh, it gives it. I'll just need to watch what I'm doing, and then there we go. That's one. And for the last one, I did <clears throat> a little tag, so that's what I'm going to do now. Now, to make the tag, I have got a tag top punch, but you can just cut up the middle, cut in, and cut in that way. 
to make your tag and then you need to decide how long you want it so <clears throat> I usually just eyeball it so I'm gonna have it like this so I'm just gonna cut that off I'm just going to take a bit off this one so it will layer up. There we go. <coughs> I'm just going to stamp that up. I love the font on this and the swirliness. It looks really good. Right. Bits and pieces. Can you see what I've done? I'm gonna say, can you see what I've done? I've put that one upside down, but it's not alright because it's the card that's turned round, not me. Which wouldn't surprise me. Right, that's the stamping done on the outside. I'm gonna lay that up in a minute when it's dried. And then for the inside, I use the other one out a bitty bitty Christmas saying happy new year merry Christmas and happy new year and just stamp that in the middle there we go let's let that dry such a nice font on it There we go. Alright, so stand those up there a minute while they're dry. And let's come back to this one. Well, actually, I'm just going to put my ink away before I put my fingers in it, like I did on my last video and got mess everywhere. finish it off and pop it up on dimensionals we've actually got these black dimensionals now which I think are quite good if you're using black card they've only just brought these out in the new annual catalogue all right put my card in so you can decide where you want to put it so on the other one I think I put it about there but obviously I've stuck the present there so we're going to go with one at the top or we could go one at the bottom I don't know if I like it. Oh, I think I like it better at the bottom there we go <coughs> so that is my three cards and then to finish it off we have <coughs> tiny stars these also came in that suite you got ribbon and stars so I'm just going to pop one on there, one on there, and one on there. So that's it. That's my quick, well, I say quick, I don't know how long we've been filming for, but that's my quick card, which is usually as quick when you know what you're doing. <laughs> and those are my three that I did before. So I hope you like those. And like I say, all the dimensions are on my blog at, at tillycrafts.co.uk. I do have a Facebook page, um, obviously YouTube, because that's what I'm on now, um, Pinterest and Twitter even, I think. I'm, I'm getting more and more in line with all this technology, but it's taken me a while. So I'll post on one thing and forget to post on the others. Well, thank you very much for joining me and I hopefully can bring you another card soon. Goodbye. Have a nice day.